Hey everybody, this is John Turner and I want to give you a quick overview of my new module for Beaver Builder called Google Content Experiments. It allows you to run A-B experiments on the same page without doing redirects, which is the normal way you do it with Google Content Experiments. So let me show you how to do it. First thing you want to do is you'll go to Google Content Experiments and you'll create a new experiment. And what you'll do is you'll just give it a name and we'll just say testing headline. Okay. And then from here, you'll select a metric. Uh, you may have a goal set up, which is like a URL destination, but in my case, I'm going to test revenue. And we're going to do 100% here traffic, and we'll just go next step. And then for the URL, you just want to put the URL of the page you're testing. So we'll go here and put that in. And then next, what you want to do is you want to put in how many variations. So if you just have one, just enter GA <coughs> version one.com and this doesn't matter um, this is if you're using redirects and you can ignore this as well if you're doing a three very or two other variations then you'll just add another one but in this case we're going to test the original and then a variation so we'll go next step okay then we just want to grab the experiment ID so let's grab that and you can ignore all this and then let's go to next step and you're going to get some errors here, and uh, that's just because we're not running it on the same, uh, or running uh, on the same page and not different URLs, but this is fine. You can ignore that. We just want to go start experiment, and we'll go yes, and that's running. So now let's go to Beaver Builder, and let's click on the page we want to run it on, and under here you'll want to drag in the Google Content Experiments module. And then you want to just enter your experiment ID right here. And you can ignore the GA tracker name. Most people, um, the GA tracker is named GA. But if you're in a special use case situation, it's renamed, you can name it here. Like I said, 99% of the people don't have to touch this. The preview version is the version you want to see when you're not editing the page. So if you're just logged into WordPress and viewing the page, if you leave it blank, you'll see both, both versions. But if you put, um, in our case, GA version 0, we'll see the original. I'm going to leave it like that. And we click Save. All right. So now we've got um, a box up here that says that we're, or we have an experiment on the page. And now we have a headline we want to test. So let's go ahead. And the first thing we want to do is edit this. And we want to name this VA version 0. V GA version 0. I'm sorry. That is your original version that you're testing. So let's click save. And then let's just clone that. We'll call this one GA version 1. And that's our variation. And then we'll just change the headline here. So let's go here, change the headline, save. So now we've got two versions of our headline here. And if we hit done at this point and publish, you can see that we just see this version because we said this is the one we want to preview when we're just viewing the page. Now note, experiments don't run when you're logged in. It only runs when you're logged out. So let's go to a Google incognito window. And if you have the Google Analytics debugger Chrome extension installed, you can turn it on and see what you're running. So I'm just going to hit enter here. And it's showing us the original one. And if we view the console here, we can see that, yes, we are actually running this experiment, which is the ID we entered. And this is the version we're running, zero. Now, sometimes you can go in here and clear your cookies and refresh the page and see the other version. But sometimes, there it goes. So we see the other version now because I cleared my cookies. So if we go back to the console and scroll down, you can see we're viewing version 1 now. Now, to the user, they're just going to keep seeing the same version, but since I cleared my cookies, it showed us a new version. It may not if you clear your cookie. Sometimes it shows you the same version. So, anyway, that's it. It's as simple as that. Now, you can also test sections. So, say we want to not just test headlines, we want to test the section. So, all right, we figured out that this headline works. Let's kill that. And now let's test a section or a layout. So we can go here, and I'm just going to add a new layout. So I'm going to go here. So now let's go and rename. So I'm going to remove this because this is not 
the original. The original is going to be this entire roll, row here. So let's go to advanced and we'll name that GA version 0 and then this will be our GA version 1 so we can test this now. All right, let's go to advanced and okay so we've got our original and then our new version we want to test we click done hit publish and now again it's showing us the preview version we want to see and if we go to our Google incognito window and test you can now see that it's showing us our variation this is the one that we were seeing before um, the, ver the uh, variation number one so it's super easy to set up there's no redirects to have to worry about there's no conical URLs or SEO issues doing this and that's pretty much it so yeah let me know your feedback and talk to you later